Good day, Vilmarians! Welcome to the second part of the Parents and Students General Orientation on the VMS Learning Plan for school year 2022-2023. The second part will cover the following topics. The Blended Learning Modality, K-12 Grading System, Code of Conduct, and the Faculty Directory. Let's first discuss the Blended Learning Modality. For school year 2022-2023, Velmer School shall adopt a blended learning modality to focus on the transition of students from pure online learning to limited face-to-face -face classes with online learning. Blended learning, as per DepEd Order No. 17, Series of 2022, refers to a learning delivery that combines face-to-face -face with any or a mix of online distance learning, modular distance learning, and TV or radio-based instruction. VMS Blended Learning Modality shall include both an asynchronous learning environment as well as synchronous real-time engagements through online and limited face-to-face -face classes. Asynchronous learning is a learning environment that does not require participants, teachers, and students to be online at the same time. Synchronous learning, on the other hand, allows students to participate in engagements with their teachers and classmates at an established time to allow for interactions in real time. VMS shall include opportunities for synchronous interaction by alternating schedules for online and face-to-face -face classes for all grade levels on a weekly basis. The following VMS distance learning plan is designed to address the following. Asynchronous interactions to allow students to work at their own pace. For teachers to communicate student learning expectations, provide resources, collect assignments, and provide feedback through Google Classroom, Facebook private groups, email, or printed materials submitted in school. Teachers will use any of the following options. Recorded PPT presentation can include links, recorded video of themselves lecturing with manual visual aids, synchronous or online and face-to-face -face interactions to give the students the opportunity of engagement with teachers and classmates in real time using Zoom or Google Meet, during online class, and through face-to-face -face interaction during face-to-face -face classes in school. Below is the VMS Blended Learning Plan model. Synchronous online learning is scheduled during Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. The following activities can be done during their synchronous schedule. Real-time interaction with teachers and classmates, formative assessments, performance tasks, lectures, homeroom guidance, and club meetings. Asynchronous online learning is also scheduled from Monday to Friday in the afternoon. The following activities can be done during their asynchronous schedule. Assignments, projects, bookwork, supplemental learning materials, and consultation. Limited face-to-face -face classes are scheduled every Tuesday and Thursday morning. The following activities can be done during the scheduled face-to-face -face classes for students with consent. Real-time interaction with teachers and classmates, formative assessment, actual demonstration of any laboratory procedures in science, TLE, and computer, consultation and remediation, summative assessment done through paper and pen on-site. The following activities can be done for students who opt to be on asynchronous learning. They will accomplish the same activities for students who are in school for face-to-face -face learning. Pre-recorded videos of lecture and lecture notes available in the Google Classroom. Formative assessment given in Google Classroom. Output for laboratory works must be submitted by students through video as proof of attendance to class. For summative assessment, Materials to be picked up from school and accomplished by student via online with teacher proctor. Two gadgets required with specific guidelines on administrations. Our next topic shall focus on the grading system for this school year. Belmary School is fully recognized by the Department of Education. The school is abreast with all the policies of the Department of Education as regards to the implementation of the K-12 curriculum. The K-12 curriculum will develop students' 21st century skills and prepare them for higher education, middle-level skills development, employment, and entrepreneurship. The imperatives of the K-12 curriculum 
for the basic education both in elementary and high school education are to decongest the curriculum to improve the mastery of basic competencies, ensure seamlessness of primary, secondary, and post-secondary competencies, improve teaching using enhanced pedagogies and medium of instruction, expand opportunities by reducing job skills mismatch, and provide better preparation for higher learning. For the summative assessments, its components are the following, written works and performance tasks. Based on the K-12 grading system, these are the following weights of the components for grades 1 to 10. For language subjects, AP and ESP, written works, 40%, performance tasks, 60%. For science and math, written works, 50%, performance tasks, 50%. For MAPE, PLE, and EPP, written works, 30%, performance tasks, 70%. Here are the following descriptors and its corresponding grading scale and remarks for the final grades and general average based on the K-12 grading system. Let's know more about the policy guidelines on awards and recognition based on Deputy Order No. 36, Series of 2016. The policy guidelines on awards and recognition for the K-12 Basic Education Program articulates the recognition given to learners who have shown exemplary performance in specific areas of their school life. These guidelines are anchored in the classroom assessments for the K-12 basic education which supports learners' holistic development for them to become effective lifelong learners with 21st century skills. These awards have been designed to formally recognize the outstanding performance and achievement of learners in academics leadership, and social responsibility, among other aspects of student progress and development. These awards are given to encourage learners to strive for excellence and to become proactive members of the school and community. It's the Perfect Attendance Award. To qualify for the award, a student must meet the following criteria. This award is given at the end of every quarter to encourage learners to attend and actively participate in class. Learners must be present in all their classes and must have no absences for the entire quarter. Learners who represent the school for various purposes may also qualify for this award. Lastly, the Academic Excellence Award. To qualify for the award, a student must meet the following criteria. The award for academic excellence within the quarter is given to learners from grade 1 to 10 who have attained an average of at least 90 and passed all learning areas. The average grade per quarter is reported as a whole number following debit order number 8, series of 2015. The categories for the Academic Excellence Award and their average grade per quarter are the following. With honors, may karangalan 90 to 94. With high honors, may mataas na karangalan 95 to 97 with highest honors may pinakamataas na karangalan 98 to 100 Let's have an in-depth knowledge about the code of conduct for distance learning which includes rules and responsibilities in the new normal environment To ensure that all Valmarie school students understand how to behave in an online environment we have developed a code of conduct which all students are required to follow. This code addresses student interaction with VMS faculty, staff, and other VMS students as well as their individual actions. Although our classroom environment for this school year may be virtual, the standards of behavior are as important as they are in brick-and-mortar schools. In other words, our virtual classrooms are real classrooms with real teachers. Therefore, appropriate student behavior is expected. All students must observe an online decorum under the Code of Conduct. Here are the following reminders whenever interacting with VMS faculty and staff. 
Students should address all VMS faculty and staff members as adults with the courtesy expected for education professionals. They are to use both the appropriate title, like Mr., Mrs., Miss, or Doctor, and last name only. Students should phrase communications with VMS faculty and staff in a polite and courteous manner, appropriate for speaking to adults. The tone of emails and phone conversations must be respectful. On students' email address and Google Classroom profile, students must use an email address and Google Classroom profile picture that is appropriate for an educational environment. Email addresses that use profanity or may otherwise be construed as offensive shall not be permitted in correspondence with VMS faculty and staff. Profile pictures should be a headshot of the student only and may not be offensive or inappropriate in any manner. The VMS administration reserves the right to determine if a student email address and or profile picture is inappropriate. Students using an inappropriate email address and or profile picture will be required to update their user profiles. Since our online environment is a learning environment, Students should not use excessive slang or language that they might use in other environments. Students must communicate with teachers in complete sentences. Students are not to use obscene, profane, threatening, or disrespectful language or images in any communications with VMS faculty and staff. These actions are prohibited as indicated in our VMS student manual. Here are the following reminders whenever interacting with other VMs online users. All communications with other students enrolled in VMS must be of a course-related nature. Any sending of unsolicited email to other VMS classmates is prohibited. All communications with other students in any forum, course-related email, discussion post, etc must be polite, courteous, and respectful. The integrity and authenticity of student work is something that we take seriously and check using variety of technologies. Copying the work of others, allowing others to knowingly copy a student's work, and or misusing content from the internet could result in disciplinary action. Do not collaborate with other students or work with on your assignments unless directed to do so by your teacher. Working together is useful in the traditional classroom, but it is not permitted in our online environment without specific teacher instructions to do so. In addition, parents may not log in to a student account and complete assigned work on behalf of the student. Your data privacy and protection in the digital world should always be observed. Here are the things to remember on sharing personal data via the internet. Children under the age of 13 must not participate in unmoderated social media activities as part of their learning. There are moderated sites for younger users or sites that permit moderators to be added, like teachers and guardians. If the school uses social media as part of its contingency learning plan, the personal information of students Teachers and other staff or guardians should not be used or transmitted to third parties online. On video conferencing and recording, all students must keep in mind the following. Just as with personal information, video imaging of minors needs permissions from parents or guardians for all age groups. Learners can also chat in groups regardless of age the one-on-one -on -one conferencing with students is best for feedback on individually assigned activities and general wellness. As much as possible, video conferencing should be set up to eliminate backgrounds that provide information on learners' personal lives and locations. A simple white or light-colored background is best. Here are the following unacceptable behavior and restrictions under the Code of Conduct. All members of the school community must not engage in bullying or aggressive behavior, threaten or intimidate others, including directly offending another student by a parent, whether online or in face-to-face -face interaction, 
Such will be documented in the student's file for record purposes. Engage in behaviors motivated by hate or bias. Commit any act of vandalism that causes damage to school property or servers. Create a disturbance which interrupts or disquiets the proceedings of the school, a class, or any learning environment. Engage in any behavior that would be considered as conduct injurious to the moral tone of the school or injurious to the physical or mental well-being of others. Misrepresent an identity or assume the identity of another by using login credentials other than those specifically assigned. This includes using email or login information issued by another including family members. All students must not Share login credentials with anyone else. Knowingly upload any file or program that contains a virus, malware, or other malicious code. Reproduce course content including assessments, electronic mail correspondence, digital captures, discussion, or chat threads in any fashion and to any other server without explicit written permission from the school principal or designate. Use anyone else's login account. Write, use, send, download, or display any information that is hostile, insulting to others, obscene, threatening, or otherwise offensive. Discuss in any open forum information that is critical of another student or teacher. Discussion forums and chat threads are open to all school members and not appropriate mediums for private correspondence. Engage in any of the following acts of academic misconduct. Cheating or the act or attempted act of deception in which a participant falsely represents that he or she has learned information in any academic exercise including an authorized collaboration with others. Plagiarism, representing the words, data, or ideas of another as one's own in any academic exercise. Collusion, intentionally or knowingly helping or attempting to help another commit academic misconduct such as substituting a test or completing an assignment for someone else, collaborating with others while taking online tests or similar summative tests. Students can expect that appropriate and progressive discipline will result when school rules and routines are violated. While parental input is welcomed and considered, it is a responsibility of the school staff and administration to make decisions about discipline. Login privileges will be revoked at the discretion of the school principal for acts deemed injurious to the moral tone of the school, injurious to the physical or mental well-being of any other member of the school community, or contrary to the board or school code of conduct. VMS students are subject to all local and national laws governing the internet Data Privacy Act, and Cyberbullying Act. Consequently, school administrators will cooperate fully with local and national officials in any investigation related to illegal activities conducted for internet access. In the event there is a claim that a student has violated this policy, he or she will be notified of the suspected violation and given an opportunity to present an explanation. Any student that violates this policy will be subject to disciplinary action that may result in removal from the VMS enrollment list as well as other disciplinary or legal action. Suspension pending expulsion must be considered by the principal for any act considered by the principal to be significantly injurious to the moral tone of the school and or to the physical well-being of others or for any conduct which is so refractory as to demonstrate that the student is unwilling to respect or respond to authority and or respect the rights or dignity of other school community members, despite having been given reasonable opportunity to do so. Violations of the VMS Student Code of Conduct will initiate the following disciplinary action procedure. Upon the violation, the teacher will complete and submit the VMS incident form. This action will alert the distance learning coordinator, department coordinator, discipline officer, and guidance officer. 
If a teacher or discipline officer will notify the student, parent, or guardian that a student has violated the code. Based on the report, it will be determined what, if any, disciplinary action must be taken. A violation of the VMS Student Code of Conduct will result in a disciplinary action depending on the gravity of the offense, which may lead to dismissal. Let's meet the Velmer School faculty that shall guide you throughout our blended learning modality. From the Special Education Department and Preschool Department, Ms. Mary Janvier C. Sorel, SPED Consultant. Ms. Riva Isabel A. Vergara, SPED Love. Ms. Karine Louise G. Dado, SPED Love. Ms. Shredelin J. Olarte, SPED Love. Mrs. Kathleen Grace A. Angeles, Preschool and SPED Coordinator and the Advisor of Kinder Love. Ms. Jenica Marie S. Barrios, Pre-Kinder Love and Kinder Faith Advisor. From the Elementary Department, Mrs. Jennifer M. Ferrer, Elementary Coordinator and Guidance Officer. Mrs. Janice Ayan H. Deljo, Grade 1 Love Mrs. Sherina May H. Basig, Grade 1 Faith Mrs. Rowena S. Pareña, Grade 2 Love Mrs. Ramandip D. Torda, Grade 2 Faith Mrs. Annalyn D. Manzanares, Grade 3 Love Ms. Roosevelt Y. Yuzon, Grade 3 Faith Mrs. Rhea P. Hesmundo, Grade 4 Love. Ms. Bernadette B. Pilit, Grade 4 Faith. Ms. Sylvia S. Manella, Grade 5 Love. Ms. Diane Rose Y. De Los Reyes, Grade 5 Faith. Mrs. Lisa L. Villegas, Grade 6 Love. Mrs. Salustia Gail R. Intalan. Grade 6 Faith Ms. Melissa Placides Ms. Jeneline C. Almedilia From the Junior High School Department Mrs. Analiza C. Marceliana Junior High School Coordinator and the Advisor of Grade 7 Copernicus Mr. Panfilo C. Camilan Jr. Distance Learning Coordinator Ms. Janine I. Gandulias, Grade 7 Galileo. Mrs. Karen A. Garcia, Grade 8 Aristotle. Ms. Cindy A. Rebadomia, Grade 8 Mendel. Ms. Giselle D. Silvestre, Grade 9 Mendeliv. Ms. Jenny D. Gono, Grade 9 Rutherford. Mr. Roland J. G. Swansing, Grade 10, Einstein. Ms. Jaya Clarice M. Quintanilla, Grade 10, Newton. Ms. Diana L. Alvarez. Mr. Hans Lawrence S. Pabros. Ms. Janice M. Aguas. Mrs. Maria Gina V. Arroyo. Mrs. Victoria G. Milan, English Consultant. If you have questions, clarifications, or inquiries, please do not hesitate to reach the following. Thank you for being with Velmer School. Stay safe, and together, we will soar high. Please be advised that as per DepEd Order Number 34, Series of 2022, issued last July 11, 2022, under number 17 of the Implementing Guidelines, blended learning modality shall only be allowed until October 31, 2022. Starting November 2, 2022, all public and private schools shall have transitioned to five days in-person classes. After the said date, no school shall be allowed to implement purely distance learning or blended learning except for those that are implementing 
alternative delivery modes as provided for in DO 27 series of 2019 entitled Policy Guidelines on the K-12 Basic Education Program and DO-01 Series 2022 entitled Revised Policy Guidelines on Homeschooling Program. As of this posting, there are no additional or revised guidelines for this directive. Until such time, Valmarie School shall follow and implement the five days in-person classes effective November 2, 2022. Prior to the implementation of full face-to-face -face classes on November 2, the school will issue corresponding guidelines to guide our parents, guardians, students, and faculty to ensure the smooth transition to in-person classes. We appreciate your full support and cooperation as we adjust to the challenges of this school year. Thank you very much.